hey booktube friends let's talk some books so the first book I want to talk about is it will end like this by Kira or Kyra Lee I'm not sure how to pronounce her name but this is a young adult psychological thriller and it is a modern take on the Lizzie Borden murders which is what drew me to this book and it did make me a little bit nervous because I thought that this book might be highly predictable since I kind of know where this is going but I will say that this was a nice surprise I really enjoyed this book there were just enough twists and turns and there was pretty good character development I really liked how the characters in this book were laid out and how we get to see some insight into the mindset of these two sisters so we are getting two different points of view, sisters Charlotte and Maddie, as they are struggling with the recent and unexpected death of their mother. Their father, within six months of their mother's death, announces his engagement to their mother's live-in personal assistant named Amber, who is of course much younger than he is. And the girls are definitely struggling with this because Amber is much closer to their age than she is to their father's age. And at one point they considered her kind of part of the family. She was almost like an older sister to them. So all of these major traumatic changes are causing a lot of upheaval and a lot of um, mental issues in these two young girls and we do see one of the sisters really have a descent into paranoia into madness and of course they are starting to question the nature of their mother's death so I definitely recommend this book I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil anything but it was definitely a great psychological thriller and if you're interested in you know the Lizzie Borden murders and kind of the circumstances surrounding that whole family dynamic this might be a book for you to check out the next book I want to talk about is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This is the third Frederick Bachman book that I've read. I've read Bear Town and also A Man Called Uwe. And I have to say, I think Anxious People has surpassed Uwe in my list of favorites. I really enjoyed this book. And if you start to read it and you get slightly annoyed with the characters and the dialogue, you're not alone. In the beginning of this book, I thought it was going to be a loser. I just thought this is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that this many characters could be so dense and so annoying. Um, but everything will come together. Everything will make sense. And I really loved this book. It had all of the things that kind of Uwe had for me. It was a very serious book at times. It was very lighthearted and funny at times and it was just a heartwarming story at the end. So I hope you will read this book if you haven't done so. I think this is one of those books that is definitely worth the hype. And um, just to give you a little recap of kind of what it's about without giving too much away, essentially what we have is an attempted robbery that turns into a hostage situation. And we have this father-son police duo that is investigating the crime. And so they are interviewing all of the hostages. And it's through those interviews that you get really frustrated because it seems like some of these characters are talking in circles. But it's very interesting to discover little by little how a lot of these characters are interconnected. And it really just shows how connected we are as humans and how sometimes our stories aren't so black and white um, and yeah I loved it I can't say enough about it but I don't want to say too much because there are quite a few little twists and turns in this book so uh, very enjoyable and highly recommended the last book I want to talk about was a buddy read with my friend John from hey y'all listen up and it was a Piers Anthony book. I finally did it. I finally read a Piers Anthony. Uh, this is one of his standalone books called Tatham Mound. And I will say I, I enjoyed the book. It he's a pretty good storyteller. I won't discount Piers Anthony in the future. Um, this book was very interesting because it was based on a 
real archaeological find in the state of Florida where the author lived and his daughter was actually involved in um, doing some excavation of this Native American mound. And so this kind of prompted Pierce Anthony to write this book. So he incorporates a lot of Native American tribes and different takes on some of the Native American myths. And yeah, it was it was a good story. I liked it, uh, but I will say it was a bit long-winded. I did feel like the story got a bit slow in the middle. And it did seem like the author kind of forgot about the quest of this book. Um, and, you know, he kind of gets bogged down in some repetitive things that I didn't feel were necessary. Um, he does seem to have a fascination with exploring the sexual practices of Native American tribes. And he just continued to reiterate these things, which I felt was a little bit gratuitous and just not necessary. I think I got the picture that, you know, Native Americans viewed sex a lot differently than Europeans and particularly Christians because, of course, we do see the clash of Native Americans and the Spanish conquistadors. It was an interesting story, interesting characters. I enjoyed it overall and I enjoyed reading it with my buddy John. So uh, thanks for doing that buddy read with me. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and if you're reading anything good right now, please make sure to shoot me a comment and let me know what you have on tap. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.